What's up guys and welcome back to Aubrey Renee TV. Today I'll be showing you how I constructed a 5x5 closure wig in only 30 minutes using my sewing machine. The things you will need are a sewing machine, all purpose thread, scissors, hair thread, T-pins, a white eyeliner pencil, mesh or spandex dome cap, and of course, hair. After pinning down my closure, I'm going in with my white eyeliner to outline the shape of it. Before I began outlining, I used two T-pins to stretch out the cap towards the bottom of the neck. I'm using that same white eyeliner to outline the position of the tracks on the wig, and I'm measuring the space in between the tracks starting out with one finger. what how did that line get over there but if you're like me and you have zero expertise in drawing a straight line it's okay your wig will still come out perfectly fine Towards the crown of the wig, I'm using two fingers to measure out the space in between the tracks now. For my last track, I'm drawing my white line straight across, closer to the closure to ensure a seamless coverage. Here's how your wig cap should look after you're done outlining it. Go ahead and place it to the side because now it's time to start sewing. Next, we're moving on to our sewing machine to double our tracks. Before you begin sewing, be sure to properly thread your machine and set the stitch to zigzag. If you have a sewing machine like me, I use stitch four, but you're welcome to use any zigzag stitch you'd like. To double the tracks, I'm aligning the webs on top of one another and running it through the sewing machine like so. Note your tracks won't be perfectly aligned. It is okay if your tracks come out like this. Once you're done doubling the tracks of all your bundles, now you're ready to begin sewing the actual wig. I'm taking my longest bundles tracks and placing it on the white line at the very bottom and sewing it onto the cap using that same zigzag stitch. As I'm sewing down this track, I'm stretching out the cap as I go to make sure the track is attached flat.
Be sure you are securing the end of each track thread before cutting it. Once you've reached the end of your wig cap, be sure to cut the remaining thread off and the rest of the track as well. To make it easier and to ensure your track doesn't move, you can use a magic clip or any clip and start sewing the track behind the place of the clip like so. Be sure to go back in and sew that part that your clip was attached to. Here's how your track should look after. When the track line stops, just pick up your next bundle and add on to it and keep going like so. When sewing, be sure not to stretch out your cap too much because you don't want to increase the size of your wig cap. After you have attached all those tracks, here is how your wig should look now. Before moving on to the closure, be sure to cut off any excess thread inside of the cap and any excess thread remaining on the tracks. After putting the wig back on the mannequin head, I'm pinning that closure onto its outline shape that we did earlier. Since all the tracks are completely sewn, I do have to play with it a little bit more to make sure it's in its right position. To attach the closure, you're just going to hand sew it just like you would do on any other wig. After triple knotting the end of that closure, you're just going to cut off the remaining cap under it.
And there you have it. Here's the final product. This wig literally took me 30 minutes. Comment below how long did it take you to make your sewing machine wig.